Hi, I'm Mark, president of the Nevada Northern Railway here in Ely, Nevada, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Iron Horse Cookery. You know, everyone knows preserving the steam locomotives is very important, but it's actually the story of the people. During the day, these guys would work 16-hour days, didn't take a break for lunch or dinner. So what they did is they actually cooked on the locomotive. So what we're going to do is recreate different recipes that they would have used during the day, and we've also thrown in a couple of modern twists. So sit back, relax, enjoy this episode of Iron Horse Cookery. Welcome back to the Nevada Northern Railroad and the Iron Horse Cookery. Today we're going to cook up some Iron Horse Hash. So uh, I've got all my ingredients sitting here on the step down here, so we're going to heat this thing up and get started. So I'm going to heat our shovel up. And uh, so I've got a little oil here, and I've got some veggies, and we're going to sweat those up and fry them up and then uh, move on from there. So, all right. So I tried and talking to the shop into making me a little basket. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> right, we're going to put a little oil here. I'm using olive oil, but you can use anything. Um, just need something to kind of fry up your your veggies in. Angie, would you hold that shovel real quick for me? Thanks. So I've got uh, pre-chopped veggies here. We're just going to throw them on the shovel like that. Donate our basket, our bag to the train gods. and. So by the way, if you want this recipe, you can find it in the Nevada Northern Cookbook, Iron Horse Cookery. Uh, you can get this in the uh, gift shop at the Nevada Northern Railroad in Ely, Nevada, or you can order it online. So this is tricky, just so you know, <laughs> because you're cooking at, do you do much cooking, Angie? Yep. Okay. So. What's your usual cooking temperatures? Uh, 350 in the oven. 350, 400. Yeah. yeah. This is about six. <laughs> Maybe six to eight. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's cool, so it's about six. <laughs> we were uh, things burn quick. <laughs> so, all right, guys. As you can see here, uh, my veggies have started to kind of sweat a little bit and wilt. We see a little bit of caramelization going on there, so we're going to add the next ingredients here and keep going. So, Angie, if you'd hold that shovel for me. Thank you, darling. So, uh, we're going to add some uh, diced potatoes here and some meat. And this shovel is going to be full by the time we're done here. Thank you. So, we're just going to kind of work this in and try to not sacrifice too much to Engine 40's top box. The only thing I ever put in there that I instantly regretted was m &Ms. It's no horrible. Burning sugar and chocolate, and that's a good. All right, guys, so we've got this uh, kind of cooked down here. Uh, you'll see the sausage here is uh, kind of brown and golden. You looks really good, so we're going to dump in a can of two cans of chili here, or uh, veggies here, not chili. Uh, dump in these two cans. Again, you can find this recipe in the cookbook. And again, thank you. Uh, and we'll stir this in and heat it up just a little bit more, and we should be good and have uh, iron horse hash. All right, guys, well, we got, looks like our hash is done. We whipped through this. Excuse the snow. It is snowing in Ely, Nevada. Um, you can see we've got it all. Everything's cooked down. It's nice and soft. We've got some good, uh, good caramelization on everything. So there you have it. That's how you cook iron horse hash in a shovel. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Iron Horse Cookery. The cookbook is available in our gift shop or online at nnry.com. Check it out, have fun, 
And by all means, come visit us at the Nevada Northern Railway right here in Ely, Nevada.